Well, hello there, everyone out there. It is your lovely host there. Once again, it is Team Eric. You got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day. If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and my own Facebook page. It's called Our Eyes Show. Not that hard to figure out if you guys are truly my fans and subscribers. If not, then get off my damn page. But anyway... Once again, I will discuss Russian news, Russian topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And, of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below, or I just give you a link. Because the article plus the little video down below. Let's get into this. Now, who is a fan of the Bella Twins? Anybody? Please stand up. Raise your hand. Now, I mentioned before, one of the Bella Twins is not very good. And, of course, I got heat from it. Hey, that's just my opinion. Everybody else has their own opinion. Another question is, are they really worthy to be in the Hall of Fame? That is a real question. Why I don't put Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth in the Hall of Fame before them? I don't understand that. I know Miss Elizabeth never wrestled, but she was a great manager. And it was awesome. But I don't know. I just don't understand that. I guess there's so much backstage politics backstage. Another thing is Miss Elizabeth should be in the Hall of Fame with her husband, Machman Man Randy Savage. But I don't know why they did not put him together I have no idea so so I guess there's rumors that the Bella Twins might come back at Wrestlemania you guys could read the article plus is a video down below if you, whatever you want to read it or watch it I'm never a fan of the Bella Twins especially how they get into the business so they're they're I guarantee you they're make a lot of money tons of money more than the average woman. In, I'm sorry. More than the women currently on the main roster for women. Okay. I could be right. I could be wrong. Because they're doing more things besides wrestling. You know. They have the Total Divas. Total Bellas. I think one of the shows they, they quit. So I don't think. Me. Personally, they don't need to come back to WrestleMania. But if the money's right, they'll come back. I don't know if they're going to compete or make a special appearance. I have no flipping clue. Okay? No clue. Zippo. Nothing. Now, I think I heard from the grapevine that WrestleMania weekend, they will induct the 2020 Hall of Fame class. They're not going to have any 2021 WWE Hall of Famers, they're not going to make any announcements for that. Why should they? Because they want to make it up for the 2020 because this whole thing got out of whack. 2022 probably be a new new uh, people getting inducted. I could be right about this. I could be wrong. You never know about these stupid flipping rumors you've been hearing on the internet. So I don't really think the Bella Twins are really worthy of being a Hall of Fame just because they're both gorgeous and Nikki was the longest Divas champion. That's it. I think Nikki's a better athlete than Brie. Or maybe Brie's a better athlete than Nikki. Who knows? I think the only reason that Nikki got this major push back then because she had a um her boobs she had boobs surgery, you know? But before that she was a nothing. I mean she was something but she was not no major story in both of them. She was more both of the Bella Twins. She had a love, love triangle with Dana Bryan. That was with um, Alicia Fox, I think. That was kind of stupid. I don't know if Alicia Fox still in the WWE. That's another one. Should not be in the WWE anymore. You know? They hired these women. They can't, they can't wrestle. So instead of wrestling, no judgment. They just stay backstage and... And do idiotic storylines like love triangles. Come on now. If you want to do that, go on a soap opera. WWE is like, like the competing. I know it was, WWE is not the good old days. 
I know it's all sports entertainment, but still, you know. I wonder how much they get paid to be on a show for WWE. How much they get paid for for Total Divas and other stuff. How many? How much? How much they get paid to make um, a, appearances? Do they get paid for that or no? I was just wondering. John Cena really dropped the ball when he broke up with Nikki. I remember WrestleMania 33. They had a big thing. I was there with my dad. And John Cena proposed to her, of course. It never happened. I think that was just part of the storyline. I think they wanted to recap all this history from back in the 90s. When Macho Man proposed to Elizabeth. Remember that? I think that was an epic moment. So John Cena is very... I think he's very selfish. So I don't think John Cena will ever get married. He might. He may not. Now Nikki is having a baby. That should have been John Cena's baby, but they had too many issues back then. So that's all I gotta say. I know a lot of people will hate my video. Hey, this is just my opinion. If you hate it, then leave my damn channel. That's all I gotta say. I can make any kind of video I want. It's a free country, right? Exactly. Everyone out there, enjoy your rest of your Saturday. Enjoy tomorrow night. The Royal Rumble will be my predictions. My predictions would be my review Monday sometime if you guys are curious. Enjoy your rest of your Saturday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe, please.